Hello guys, Sid the IT guy here and in this video we will cover the real-time notifications that we can integrate into Laravel. So the GitHub repository link is in the description box and the branch name that I am pushing this code will be named Socket.io. So make sure to pull this branch and build it on your own and let me know if you face any issues or any kind of glitches, I'll be happy to help you out. So in this video we will discuss Socket.io. So the first thing will be the installation and setup. The second thing will be building our use case that I will demonstrate in the app. So the third thing will be the testing. I will show you how it works. Then the up and down sides to using Socket.io, uh, where I will discuss the alternatives that is Pusher and uh, Laravel Echo and all that. And then at the end, my personal notes. So let's begin. Yeah. So the first thing that you have to do is log into the app with the super admin credentials. So super admin at my sh sorry shopify.com one two three four five six and after that you will see you will see this element right here send real-time notifications so click on it and you will see a message and a user so let me uh, open up an incognito tab and i will log in with one of the users that i have yeah so this is the user, it has uh, its own dashboard and in the menu, we can see that it is user one. Sorry, so this is the user, user one. So let me go back to that tab. So I will say, this is a message from super admin. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me start up node server.js, yeah. So let me refresh and I'll hit and let me refresh here as well. Yeah. So this is a message from super admin. Send it. So here I can see that I have received a message from the super admin. Then I can say another message from super admin. Then I can hit again. So here I can see another message. I didn't work on the UI that much. You can figure it that, that out on your own. Okay, so now let's look into the implementation of it. So the first thing I did was create a server.js file into the root of the project. So this is our server.js. Now, we need to run npm install and uh, npm, I think npm install will cover it enough for you because it will automatically install express and it will automatically install uh, socket io but in case it doesn't then uh, you may need to run npm install then npm install express and then npm install socket.io these three commands you need let me just put this other comment here npm install after that npm install express npm install socket io yeah so these three commands should cover it so first thing we are creating a server out of it and then in the io variable we are requiring the socket io with the server variable here and in the course we are setting the origin to http shopify project dot test which is the one present in my env so make sure that this value matches your env app url uh, value so let me show it here so this is the value and it matches and after that, so on connection, we are console logging connection and then on the socket, when it receives this event from the front end, then uh, this object that I am receiving here, so it has a user ID and a message. So it uh, broadcasts this notification, sorry, this event uh, to the broadcast socket. And on disconnect, I have commented this out and then at the last, we are listening on port 3000. So in the terminal, you can see the logs that are getting generated. So here I am with user seven and the message says, this is a message from the super admin. So this is the server side setup that you have to do. And on the client side, let's see what we need to do. So in our views, I want to start with app. So this is the one if condition I added here. So if auth check is returning true, then I'm taking a hidden input type with the ID user ID and the value contains the user ID. So that's fine. And at the end, I put yield scripts. So now inside the scripts file, I added a jQuery here because I realized I hadn't 
I didn't uh, have the jQuery, so it was throwing that kind of error. So then I included the socket IOJS uh, CDN file. And then at the end, I created a custom uh, script file called socket IO script. So let me open up. So it will reside in public asset JS folder. So when you open this up, it's a very simple script. So it will listen to a local host 3000. Then I'm logging it. And then uh, the user ID will be taken from the user ID input hidden type that I just showed you. And when it receives it, so on the main div element, it will prepend this uh, HTML. And that's it for the client side. So whenever you refresh on the client side and you inspect it, so on the console, you should see this F and inside this, you should see connected equals true. So that is fine. Um, yeah. So on the server side, now we have to do uh, this part right here, where on the, uh, on the click of the send notification button, what do we do? So I created another uh, folder called notifications inside the super admin views and inside this there's this index.blade which I'm using and uh, what is what this file is doing I mean this uh, route is, is it's taking all the IDs and names from the user table but it's not taking its own uh, record so ID not equal to auth user ID and it is selecting ID and name so that's how I populated inside this uh, select input box and I wrote the script here itself. So this script is only for this index file. So when we hit submit, so the ID I assigned it as submit. So on the click event, I am preventing the default action. I'm console logging it again. I should maybe comment this out. And I'm creating an object here. So this object contains the user index as the user.val and the message as the message.val. So above here, so this is the ID message and this is the ID user. So take the values from these two and uh, just hit socket.emit send notification to user. So what we specify here that we are emitting. So this has to be caught in server.js. So socket on send notification to user. This is again emitting this receive notification user specific to the object.user. So not everybody gets the notification, only the user that is intended to get it, gets it. So this is the real time demonstration. Once again, I'll show you. So yeah, this is refreshed itself. So we can say simple message. So send and here we got simple message. So this is how the real time notifications can be built here. and. Uh, so now we will discuss the upsides and downsides of this implementation. So the upside is clearly it is free. Uh, it can scale a lot. You, didn't, you, you, you don't need to put any kind of pricing on this. You don't need to spend money and it is beginner developer friendly. So anybody who's not even working and who's just trying out real time notifications can have this implemented in their system. The downside to this implementation is I don't know how it will work on the production server. So clearly you have to get the server JS up and running onto your production server. And uh, on port 3000, I think you need to open up the security groups and uh, you might need to get an SSL, not an SSL. So the port 3000 should be open. So this can run easily. So that is the only downside I see to this implementation, but it is simple enough that could be explained to new developers so they can try it out on their own. So it might need a little bit of experimentation. You might need to configure uh, Nginx to let the 3000 uh, port requests come in. You might need to configure your server itself to open up the TCP port for three, port 3000. So all that. So that is the only downside. Otherwise, uh, the upside is it is free and uh, doesn't require a lot of complicated code. It is quite simple as I have shown you in this tutorial. And you don't need pusher. That is the one thing that I've been seeing on YouTube where people are showing real time notifications using pusher. Now pusher requires pricing. You have to pay money in order to get their uh, upper level services. They do have a free version, but uh, with this socket IO, you don't need to worry about pricing anymore.
yeah so that's pretty much it for this video try it out on your system uh, make sure to pull the branch socket io uh, not the main branch and let me know how it worked out for you if you face any kind of issues please let me know in the comments down below i'll be happy to help you out that's about it thank you